Hi guys, it's Juan Carlos Silva from Juan Carlos Silva Photographer here. And today guys, I'm going to show you how to edit and retouch the image in Photoshop. I'm going to be developing this image before in Capture One, color grade, and then I'm going to jump to Photoshop to retouch. So this is um, the image that I select to retouch today, just for this quick tutorial. Um, I have a lot of the same set, but they already um, changed color, they already gradient, and I haven't developed and all that. So I think this is one of my favorite images um, for this, um, I don't know, a quick tutorial. So let's start it. Uh, first of all, um, the, look, the image look a little bit like dark, so I want to bring back a little bit the, the, the color and the face over here and I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to, to you know select this image well this is the other uh, image for the set I, I, I'm going to put all these colors on this one so I want to uh, be a little bit more vintage on, on this color of course I can copy and select all the same uh, setups of the image but I want to try to do it like manual, that way you can see a little bit what I can do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, contrast a little bit the image. Um, it's going to recover a lot of color. Um, I think 36 is a pretty, pretty good um, um, amount of saturation. Yeah, I like it. It can define the, uh, the colors and um, bring a little bit back the, the is the uh, contrast. Um, after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna saturate a little bit, like high high saturation in this image. Um, then the shadows and the highlights. I'm gonna this image is gonna be a lot of a lot of craziness. So let's look at this, guys. Uh, this is what I'm trying to achieve for this um, setup. That I'm putting here, and it sounds crazy, looks crazy, but I love the colors, I love the vintage, uh, the vintage look. So I'm trying to achieve a little bit that, and um, this looks there we go. So this is kind of what I I'm looking for, the colors of this um, entire set. So this is kind of like, I think I'm going to change a little bit the color of this one. But um, let's see what um, what I can do later. But I'm going to be retouching this one today. I'm going to be retouching a little bit this one today. After the process of developing the image, I think um, I'm ready to send this uh, photo to Photoshop. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's start to retouch. Since um, I'm in the image, I'll uh, start the process of the touch. I'm going to first of all, I'm going to um, liquefy a little bit. So, part of the, the, um, the face that I like to liquefy is first. So, um, this is just a little bit of liquefy only because I want the face more. Second, this last one over here. Perfect. Perfect. So, guys, after liquefying the image, this is what we got a really nice balanced uh, picture. I really like this um, kind of like straight face to the camera. So, this is what we got. Right now, I'm going to set up the layers that I'm going to use to uh, retouch and, and uh, this is what we have here right now. I'm using this uh, workflow. It's really simple. The only thing that I have is a helping mask, color fix, touch and burn and clean. I got this from a 
really high in retouch her. So um, this is kind of like really simple retouch. I love this picture. So I'm gonna start it to clean a little bit the image and uh, try to clean it the better that I can to not let uh, the retouch affect colors and uh, not look like fake retouch or something like that. So right now I'm healing in an empty glass, of course, like everybody have to do, like your mask I'm using right now my uh, healing brush of course the setup is going below and I have revision 5 so let's clean a little bit I don't want to clean too much because I don't want to have like a uh, fake a plastic um, retouch or face or I don't know how to say it, but yeah I don't want to do that so I'm gonna clean a little bit and I'll be back really soon guys He tocado a tu puerta y no estás Hoy empieza un nuevo día y el alba se está por ir Vamos todos como unos y ceros sumando y restando las cuotas de estrés Y no sé, condenados So guys, after the uh, clean mask and healing and all that, I'm gonna jump to the dodge and burn. For the dodge and burn, I'm gonna use the helping mask. Why I'm gonna use the helping mask? Because I'm actually gonna add a curve layer here. I'm gonna use it because I like to see, I like to see more than imperfections. Not more than imperfections. Everything like you see here, I can use better dodge and burn. So this is the dodge, this is the burn. I'm using for this my brush tool. I always set it up in between two and three in the flow. So let's start to do a little bit of the brush and burn, the dodge and burn. Just a little bit, not too over exaggerated because this is not a beauty and um, I don't want to look fake in this uh, particular to want to have that vintage uh, look. So, what I'm doing is trying to have a nice, really, really nice face. Or Balance colors.